Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So good, good to see you. You too. Your baby list that you sent me <laughs> was the most helpful from all the ones I received. Um, and we were talking that you should do a book about it. Oh, really? It. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm always like really mindful to give out any advice because I'm such a new mom myself. But one of the things that really helped me when I was pregnant was a couple of my girlfriends gave me their baby list. So all of the yeah. paraphernalia you need to buy for a child, yeah. which I had no idea about. I then sort of built my own list because those were so helpful to me. I wanted to share them with my own girlfriends. Really like so great for a first time mom. You have amazing. no idea the amount of things that you may need, might not need. Exactly. And it's just so hard to imagine it. And I'd not ever kind of been around a baby before, so. Well, I'm really excited for it. Yeah. To because I was like, what am I going to do on Rosie? Because when you started, isn't it hard that you're used to somebody else's vision of you and you have no input? Yeah, I mean, I've been working now for 16 years and I would say really eight to 10 years of my career, I felt like I was having stuff done to me because I love beauty, first and foremost. It's you know one of my yeah. like most favorite creative outlet, and then fashion follows pretty quickly after yeah. that. I've always felt like I could come to set and actually offer my opinions, and you know, as a young model, it's not really welcomed, unfortunately. Yeah. And I think times are changing a little bit. Yes, but which is great. Definitely now, I would say the latter half of my career. Most of the time, I walk on set, and it's just it's a breeze, and it's great, and I'm working with people I know or people I've dreamt of working, and it really is collaborative effort because yeah. you know at the end of the day it's fashion and we're all creative beings that work in the industry and you're an artist yourself it's like if it's not if you're not creating something that you feel yeah. inspired by then otherwise I just find myself really kind of shutting down and that's how it was for many years I just felt kind of miserable and yeah. uninspired and I managed to sort of turn the tables a little bit and build and keep working and get to a point where I was like no, <laughs> this is how yeah. it's going to work. So it's good I to feel really it. privileged to be in that position because many young models are starting out and the times are so different now as well. How girls start their careers is so different. But that's also one of the great things about social media that I didn't have in the beginning is it really is the opportunity to kind of cultivate your own vision for your career or yeah. for your show brand. your own interests. And yeah. I think that, that that's what you've managed to do is like launch your YouTube channel, your social media and your Instagram is one of my favorite to oh, follow you. because you're able to kind of really do what you want to do and have your We're voice. We're so free so, there. And, yeah. and like you said, you're, you're able to put your world there and yeah. people that like you, they follow you. Uh, I ordered us matcha. Oh, good. Okay. Good? My favorite. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers with the matcha latte. Now we'll get green moustaches. You know, we always have like this very classic mm -hmm. day makeup yeah. that we do just like all the time. Like Can my five-minute face? Yes, Okay. exactly. I brought along some of my favorite products. I tend to like stick to a specific type of look in the daytime. I just want to look healthy and glowy and dewy and natural. That's like my signature yeah. go-to look. Bronzy, glowy, yeah. fresh, young and youthful. Can you show me? Yeah. A little bit of hand sanitizer a little bit of moisturizer. I mean, I apply my moisturizer all over, but if I'm really going into doing my makeup, I'll really kind of concentrate on the areas that I want to have the glow. Yeah. I like to be really kind of dewy right here. And then I'll just kind of use the rest of it. A little bit across the eyes so that your concealer or foundation kind of sits in nicely. So once I've done that, this is great for a girl that's doing her makeup on the go. Yeah. I love the shape of this as well because yeah. it can kind of I push could, into I all of the see. areas. I'm just going to push this in to the sort of areas where I like a little bit of coverage. <laughs> the <laughs> Basically <nose>. everywhere. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to like quick brush stroke. Foundation sticks I've often found in the past to be a little bit cakey yeah. Yeah. and hard to blend. And I think I've made the mistake of applying too much of it and just sort of push it into this yes. little areas yes. and then you kind of buff it in. So you don't need to cover your whole face with it. Just sort of want to dot it around. And it does blend really quickly this. Yeah, I can see that. And then I'm just going to run the brush along my eyelids and then up into my forehead here okay so once i've done that then i'll use the creamy concealer to cover a few little friends i'm going to use it under the eyes 
After birth, I got so many rashes on my skin and I forced myself to not wear any makeup, make my skin heal faster, yeah. which it did. But it was intense. It's, it's just hormones. crazy what happens those first few weeks after you have your baby. you just like, what <laughs> is so going shy. on and will I ever be normal again? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, your skin is very nice. You can That's still right. see your yeah. skin yes. through it, which I love. I'm going to do a little bit of brow gel. I'm actually going to mix two brow gels because I find the blonde is a little light and the soft brunette a little dark, so I like to kind of mix okay. them both. So I'm going to start with the blonde. The thing I love about this brow gel as well is that it really gives some fluffy volume. I was about to say, I can really see the, the difference. In the daytime, you know, you're battling with daylight often and there's just nothing worse to me than seeing like a really harsh brow. Yeah. So. I'm going to match that on the other side now. I'm going to mix in a very light bit of the soft brunette just to give them a little bit more depth. I don't put too much color on them. Yeah. See how it's given them a little yeah. bit more depth, but if I'd used just the um, brunette, I think they'd look a little bit hard on me. Yes. And I love this brush because of this yeah. edge. And it's always got a little bit of foundation on it because I yeah. wore concealer, so I use it like, a, like an eraser. So once I've done that, then I'm going to add a bit of bronze. And now this is where I'm really going to kind of pump back up that kind of bronzy, glowy look into my skin. So I always start here on my cheekbones yeah. and use little light, soft buffing motions. And then I'll use the rest to come down onto my jawline. I love this brush because it's like double-ended. Just depending on where you want to put your powder on your face, you can kind of adjust that. So on the temples, and then I always pop a little bit into my oh, nice. socket. Yeah, it's just this. gonna give a bit of depth and actually, even if you wanted to kind of go for a stronger look, I always think it's really nice to use the same tone of yes, a color this. on your eyelids. I love this. I love it when all the colors are like monochromatic across the Me face too. as well. It's very chic. I always bring it down into my jawline and then down into my neck. A little bit of blush. So your favorite color for blush is what? Know, it just depends what my mood yeah. is. I love kind of corally color, yeah. especially in the summer. Yeah. I love this. It's like a real kind of pretty pinky. So I'm going to just pick that up on the brush onto the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I love this. Again, the same way I did with the yeah, bronzer, but pop the blush into the brow bone a little bit. I find this like incredibly eye-opening and like awakening. So once I've done that, I'll usually then do a little bit of powder. I like to, you know, we've just put all that kind of dewiness and glow into my face. I'm really, just like you do, I'm gonna add the powder just in the areas that I need it. A little bit here on the chin, perhaps just along the edges yeah. of my jawline, around the edges of my nose. I like the glow in the middle of yeah. my nose, so I just want to do the edges under my eye and then in the center of my forehead. But I like to leave this bit a little bit okay. because I like to see that like little bit of glow on the top of the head as well. Last thing I do is a lip, kind of like the cherry on the cake. Yeah. It's a YSL product I've had in the back of my makeup drawer for ages. I love the applicator for this as yeah. well. It's really just very similar to my lip color. And I think the beauty of this product is almost the texture of it because it's sort of not a gloss, not a lipstick. It's like a sheen, but it's got real tackiness to it as well. And it's got a real sheen to it. And then one of my favorite tips when doing a lip is is to like look down in the compact to see if you've got it right on your lip line. I always like to make sure I get this bit underneath here. And it's a really cool lip because you could really build that and get a very sheeny lip. I could leave it like this, but I think I'm, I'm gonna block this with a napkin. Sorry, restaurant. I hope you don't mind. And then I'll just it use looks my very finger. To your color, I, I love doing that when you've got like a good lip color on, just taking your middle finger. Yes. In. That is fresh face, everyday makeup. But yeah, I think my signature look is all about glowy, fresh, feminine, yeah. and easy to use, easy to apply. If I haven't got my eyelashes on, then I'll do lots of mascara, perhaps yeah. like a little bit of eyeliner if I've got more time. I brought you some stuff that I okay. want to try on you. Okay. Based on what you did. Fine. Pink later for my Whoa. art kit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love this eyeshadow palette. So I wanted to bring you this a few lipstick. That's but... so pretty. Look at that. 
color is amazing. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do it. I like that. <laughs> I just knew I wanted to, to work with pink and copper for you because I feel like it's the best yeah. colors. So I just wanna give you a little bit of a sun kiss. <laughs> Kiss effect. So I tried these um, Gossier Clay highlighters and I was like pleasantly surprised about this bronzy one because I, I normally it. would stick to something lighter. Yeah. So I preferred the two other shades that they had, but I used this and I was like, oh, it's nice. I couldn't huh? get away with that. It doesn't make me look like a strobe or anything. No, <laughs> no it's really nice and it blends. It's actually quite transparent. Yeah. It's actually going to blend well. love to use a finger with this kind mm -hmm. of texture because I feel like it's blending better. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use a bit of your magic brush. Mm -hmm. I don't want to remove what you did here and I want to be too much here. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice, right? I'm gonna have a bit of this here. So, because I add the bronze, I'm going to add a bit more pink on mm -hmm. your cheeks. Okay. 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 And I'm going to use, I think, Café au lait color. Yeah. Use it on your eyelid. Just overall, kind of like a vase. Mm. I really follow your shape. Oh, it's that's such like, a lovely color. It's a nice color. Wow, thing. yeah. Right. I'm gonna add this guy on your the root of your lashes. I love this NYX Jumbo Pencil. They're super cheap, mm -hmm. but they're like the best. And I don't really care how the line is, because I'm gonna blend it. Blend it. Just to be on the outside to pull the eye. I like to use shadow to shape a bit, mm -hmm. you know, the eyes. And I'm going to use this metallic brown mm -hmm. just to help this blend a bit because I'm going to put glitter on top. gonna do is put this in a water line. Okay. Uh, I'm being too brutal. I don't know you have watery eyes. So I'm really going in the lash. Oh that's so sexy. That's sexy. That's really cool. You can now go on top and then in the corner. So when you yeah. blink it doesn't it's remove. It's got my depth. Yes. This color? Okay. And then we'll add the magic. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So I think this color just still have it. And you can use this also in the water. They're line. fab. I love right? how easy that I'm was. I'm such a, I'm like a fan. And you can color all your eyelid and then you blend with your finger and you have the most amazing smoky eye. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes why I use my finger because it because they dry this dries right dries, yeah. quick. And just on the edge, because I don't want to put it on the pencil, I just had a blend a little bit because it's kind of the similar color where the light is gonna hit. I'm really adding right in the center, just where the light is gonna hit. Right. First, this a little bit on the bottom, but not in the waterline. Yeah. Just, uh... Okay. Then yeah, okay. use this. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Wow, such amazing pigment. Right. Okay. So that's great. You could just just do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some pink blush, which is my favorite thing to have on the eyelid, and matte. I'm gonna do it for you. Okay. <laughs> that was just in the. 
in the moment. I really love to have a bit of pink mm -hmm. on, in your eyes because you can see it's like, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. everything together is blending better. I love how you're using such like feminine, pretty, girly colors, but oh, at the same yeah. time, it looks still really sexy and like cool and fierce. You yeah, you don't feel like you're. I don't yeah. feel like a you don't too feel precious. too cute. Yeah, yeah, I'm precious. Good, because I think the woman I I naturally <laughs> not create, but the looks I create are it's always like a strong woman. Mm. I think I use very very thin glitter mm -hmm. um, because it kind of like disappeared it's not gonna be too chunky so it's almost like a raw pigment mm -hmm. instead of a glitter mm -hmm. okay I need a lip balm so mm -hmm. I'm grabbing a bit of your lip balm and what I'm gonna ask you to do is to remove your lips because I think they're a bit too dark for what we're gonna do and I'm gonna use the lip balm on the q-tip really on your lash line then I'm gonna grab this glitter I mean, this pigment, mm -hmm. we'll say. Do this. And I like to go here for you because you have a great eye shape to do that and it, it gives a bit more sexiness. Okay. I even like just the, the lip yeah. balm on there on yeah. top of the, what we already did. I love glitter on the bottom lash line because I feel like it's bringing something so sexy and and almost emotional. Yeah. Of the pink and add a bit more in your okay because I am going to have a tiny bit more of the pink glitter, so... The copper turning into pink, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. add more copper here to help the transition. That is so cool. You like it? Yeah, I like, wanna go shoot an editorial with this. It's just a glitter really ombre. Pretty. I'm glad you like it. And it's true, it gives it makes you look like you're sort of crying Cry almost, glitter, but right? in a good way. But that's that's it's, exactly it's what like I love. It's like you said, it makes you look a little emotional. With the Q-tip, I just go in a no corner. Okay, and then I grab a bit of the copper again, just transition. So I'm gonna do it, because you have to be super, so that's why I'm using a smaller mm. brush. You have to be almost just like, um, Tinting, can you say that, mm -hmm. through lashes? So be a bit more chin down. And I'm gonna go back and forth just to put the color on it but not having a texture. And if I put too much, I'm gonna use another one too. It's important because it's yeah, gonna star, give a structure yeah. to your eye but you're not gonna be able to see it. Yeah. It makes you very feline, mm -hmm. you say feline? Mm -hmm. Makes you, yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> Watch out, people. <laughs> Coming for you with my eyes. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna pat the bit of foundation you have here, mm -hmm. just to make it soft. And use a bit of your lip balm for one thing again. Because it, I like the texture of this. I think f when you work later, it's good to be a bit dewy. Like this is a very, it's almost like I would call this a sunset party, party look. Mm -hmm. It definitely feels like something you wear to a party. Yes. Okay. Oh, that did look, that does look really nice, right? the lip balm there, yeah. We I, I absolutely love it. I think I'm it's so, so unique. I, I wish I was going out now. <laughs> really, really cool and different and very creative and... Well, I thought with you I should teach you something yeah. creative because you you know makeup. No, I think that's brilliant. I'm really glad. Wait till your daughter starts noticing when you have your makeup done because I go home with like makeup on and... What does it say? It was like, he goes, oh. Mama pretty. Oh, no way. <laughs>
<laughs> or he like will look at me and point and laugh, which is, <laughs> then you're like, I'm not oh. sure what that means, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the other day for the first time, she saw me without bangs. Yeah. Because I put all my okay, hair up her yeah. facial and she was very confused. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I did this and she gave me a smile. Aww. I was like, okay. Well, that was really fun. Yeah, was uh, cool. Now we're gonna finally have lunch. Perfect. I'm gonna put all this away. Yeah, oh, wait, perfect. I'm gonna take a picture of all my messages.